hi guys welcome to the channel and welcome to the project and we are going to uh, demonstrate a mini project on salesforce omni studio where you can see this particular screen and i have two elements one of them is edit block and one of them is lookup uh, let me click and uh, select an opportunity and and if you see this as in particular edit block and these are the capacity to edit and delete so i can uh, actually click some contact and i can also be able to edit the phone numbers and if you see the phone number has been edited and uh, there is also an function in which i can select some contacts let's say i have selected for random contacts uh, let's say for, uh, i can select these also so what i are going to do in this project is we have a particular account and this account has some contacts and it has some opportunities so whatever the opportunity i'm selecting here i am uh, and whatever the contact i am selecting here in this screen i want to link these contacts to these uh, this particular opportunity so when i click on next it should actually it says contacts has been successfully added to opportunity and if i go to my this particular uh, opportunity that i have selected if i go back to previous you say me cloud kick sneakers this is the opportunity I have selected and if I go to the contact rules and if I refresh you can see this particular contacts have been added to the opportunity as well. So this is a sample mini project that we are going to do. So we will be breaking this down into three parts. So in the first part if you see we are going to retrieve all this data first so that this will be visible in the Omni script. And in the second part, we will be actually configuring the edit, delete um, buttons and all these lookup elements. And in the third part, we are going to see where we can add how, uh, where and how we can add this contact roles into the opportunity. So there will be three persons. Uh, one in first person, we are going to use the data raptor extract and integration procedures. And in the second part, we are going to use the lookup elements, edit blocks, and remote actions. And in the third part, we are also again going to use data after post actions and integration procedures. So that's it. Uh, let's uh, meet in the next video. Thanks.